Hey everyone, have you ever thought about what happens to your clothes after you toss them in the wash? You might be shocked to learn that every time you do a laundry, you could be contributing to a hidden environmental crisis that is microfiber pollution. These tiny plastic fibers are sneaking into our oceans, our food or even our bodies. Stick with me for next few minutes as we will uncover what microfiber pollution is, why it is a big deal and what you can do about it. Let's get started. First thing, what are microfibers? These super tiny strands, thinner than human hair, that make up a lot of our clothes. Think about polyester, nylon, acrylic. Basically most of the stretchy, comfy stuff we love, like workout gear or cozy fleece. These fabrics are made from plastic and when you wash them, they shed millions of these microfibers into the water. Here is a kicker. Washing machines can release up to 700,000 microfibers per load. That's like dropping a pinch of invisible plastic confetti in our waterways every time you hit that start button. And because they are so small, wastewater treatment plants cannot catch them up. These fibers end up in rivers, oceans and even the air we breathe. Now the question is, why is this a problem? Well, microfibers are basically microplastics and they are everywhere. They are in the fish we eat, the water we drink and studies have even found them in human lungs. Now let's discuss its impact. Number 1. Wildlife impact. Marine animals like fish, turtles and even whales mistake microfibers for food. These plastics build up in their systems causing health problems and even death. Number 2. Impact on human health. Microfibers carry toxins like pesticides or dyes that can stick to them. When we eat seafood or drink water contaminated with microfibers, those toxins could end up in us. Number 3. Environmental Impact Microfibers don't biodegrade. They stick around for hundreds of years, clogging up ecosystems and adding to the global plastic pollution crisis. The scary part, scientists estimate that 35% of all microplastics in the ocean come from synthetic textiles and that is huge. So how did microfiber pollution become such a big issue? Well, it's tied to our love for cheap comfy clothes. Fast fashion has made synthetic fabrics like polyester super popular. They are affordable, durable and versatile. In fact, over 60% of clothes made today are synthetic. But the downside, these materials are petroleum based plastics and we are producing billions of garments every year. Add to that our washing habits. Most of us wash clothes just after one or two wears and high speed washing machines agitate fabrics causing more fibers to break off. Combine fast fashion with frequent washing and we have got here into microfiber pollution. Now what can we do about it? Alright, it's not all doom and gloom. You don't have to ditch your favorite workout gear to save the planet. Here are some practical tips you can start using today to fight microfiber pollution. Number 1. Wash smarter. Use cold water, shorter wash cycles and a full load to reduce fiber shedding. Less friction means fewer microfibers. Number 2. Get a filter. Invest in a washing machine filter designed to catch microfibers. Products like the Guppy Friend bag trap up significant amount of microfibers before they escape. Number 3. Choose natural fabrics, opt for cotton, wool or linen when you can. They are biodegradable and don't shed microplastics. Number 4. Buy less, buy better. Support brands that use sustainable materials and produce less waste. Quality over quantity. Number 5. Spread the word. Share this video with friends to raise awareness. The more we talk about microfiber pollution, the more we can push for systemic change, like better regulations on textile production. Small changes add up and together we can make a big difference. The bigger picture, microfiber pollution is a global problem. But there is a hope, scientists are working on new fabrics that shed less and some countries have started to regulate microplastics. For example, France has mandated that all new washing machines should come with microfiber filters by January 2025. That is a huge step. By supporting policies like this and making conscious choices, we can tackle this invisible threat together. So there you have it, the sneaky world of microfiber pollution and how we can fight it. Next time you are about to toss your clothes in the wash, think about those tiny fibers and what you can do to keep them out of our oceans. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up, share it with a friend and subscribe for more tips on living sustainably. 
drop a comment below what is one thing you are going to do to reduce microfiber pollution let's keep the conversation going see you next time